Hi, everybody. Welcome to 2020 World of Step International Convention Week. Yes, we are so excited. Right now, I am going to put right now, we are live in WOS. We're in 2020 Convention Week, and I'm super excited. I'm just going to put our hashtag right now on, and I want to thank everyone for following us, and I'm looking at the bottom of the screen, Intervention International Convention. We are super excited to have everybody on. Let me just post it before I get screened at, and I have to pin it and pin comment. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Remo, and I'm the founder of The Art of Stepping, and we are here live at our 2020 World of Step International Convention Week. And in case you guys missed it, you shouldn't have missed it. We've been blasting all over the place. The World of Step is an international community that supports, embraces, and enhances the World of Step around the world. And it's in conjunction with the World of Step Alliance, which is consists of the Players Club, Art of Stepping, and of course, the National Step Association. This week, we have a full week of programming, entire week of programming. There's going to be live IG events that we're going to be doing. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we're going to have workshops and we're going to have interviews for members and powerful, powerful people in the community that have been making a difference in stepping here and around the world. We'll also be doing interviews in Spanish in our Peru page and in French, um, sorry, in Spanish in our World of Step Peru. We'll be having also workshops and also interviews, and we'll also be talking about what's happening there along with the World of Step West Africa. But right now, at this moment, today, we are kicking off our convention with our live IG with no other than one of the members of the World of Step Alliance. And the beauty about it is today, we're talking about all of the making of the World of Step and the actual behind the scenes of the convention and what took us almost three years to build. That's what some of you may not know. So I'm really, really excited. I'm waiting for Dabe James to come on board so he can uh, speak a little bit. And in case you have missed it, and in case you've missed all the announcements, World of Step International Convention has gone virtual due to COVID-19. But don't worry about it. The same experience will be there. So you can take over 20 classes on demand right now for $14.99. And on top of that... You can also catch us live in the IG. We're going to be doing giveaways contests leading up to our big finale award show that's happening this Saturday and the naming of the first ever international grand champions. That's so, right. we are that's here right. now with Dabe James. How are you, Dabe? I am well. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. great. How are you feeling? We are right now live for the 2020 World of Step International Convention Week. I could not be more excited. Let me tell you, I, we've been building up with this, and right now, um, it couldn't have gone better. You know, uh, COVID was really, you know, a hard thing, but uh, the World of Step Alliance has just expanded the ground and gotten everybody to, to share, and it's super, I'm super excited. Super well, excited. I'm glad, you know, we're, we're going to have a bunch of interviews today, but right now, I want the viewers to learn more about you. So, you know, I, I want to know, I want to get to the real good stuff. So, Dabe, you yes. are representing the National Step Association. Can you please let people know who the National Step Association is and a little bit about how they get started and their role in stepping? Not a problem. Okay, so the National uh, Stepping Association, uh, abbreviated NSA, has been around, my goodness, probably approaching 20 years at this point. Um, it was started as uh, to, to level the playing field for step competitions. It was started to bring organization to all of the stepping world because we needed it to be normalized. As a governing body, we came along, we came up with a system that um, allowed for fairness in judging because you know how some teams you'd go uh, to a show on a Friday night and you'd win and then you'd compete against the same teams mm -hmm. on Saturday and you'd lose. So we normalized that playing field. We started uh, galvanizing groups. So just to be clear, leads. when you say mm -hmm. normalize, what the goal was NSA was to standardize it. Standardize, so everyone correct. felt like they were on the equal playing field. That is right? Correct. So the okay. same rules and standards applied across the board and, and all of our judges are trained and certified. So when the leagues would come together, they knew for their league shows, everyone knew that it was going to be fair play. Additionally, uh, the NSA offered, uh, we're going back a bit, um, classes and, and we were in after school programs and the developing 
of STEP as not just uh, uh, an extracurricular activity, but to take it to the same level as the sports that you see in so many schools uh, to get it supported, and most importantly, funded the same way that all of the other sports in the school were. So if you guys are catching in right now, we are live with one of the people that helped make the World of Step International Convention happen. He's an Alliance member, and his name is Dabe James, and he's representing the National Step Association. So if you guys have any National Stepping Association, if you have any questions, just type it up, you know, put some little hearts in there, let us know, we'll make sure we'll address it. So Dabe, NSA started almost 20 years ago, you want to say? Yes. Over 20 years ago. So, you know, at the peak of NSA, I mean, there were some major highlights that NSA did um, about 20 years ago. I know that you guys um, were like the premier, you know, you were the premier, if not only stepping circuit for a lot of the younger circuits, right? And how yes. far did you reach? Oh, my God. Uh, we literally got national. Uh, the name actually, the, the name actually stood, National Step Association. Um, um, it, we had all the markets we had from Georgia to Texas to Cali to uh, all the way, all the way upstate. We had it in regions. Um, and it was for middle and high school students that would go and uh, we had coaches and we would do workshops across the country. It was, I think at its height, um, whew, maybe uh, I would say, uh, Let's just start with, let's say, 2010, let's say, or 2012. Well, um, I think you're being a little shy with your numbers. Like, in case people don't know, National Stepping Association was the circuit that everyone wanted to create. It was. Um, not mm -hmm. because of they only had the stepping circuit, but they created councils. They created mm -hmm. councils, governing councils yep. that allow people, uh, the coaches to coach themselves, to have guidance from National Step Association to pass down so the coaches could continue the guidance to the kids so that it was a fundamental learning process. But um, they also had like a real big partnership with Disney. Didn't they, they have a big partnership? Ab absolutely, that? absolutely. Uh, we used to go to Disney, do the Disney family weekends, uh, the Tom Joyner morning show. I'm sorry, I'm moving away. There's a birthday party next door to me and I can't tell if you guys can oh, hear it. Oh, it's okay, Dabby. Oh, okay. <laughs> we international. That's we it, that's it. Hey, just wait, just wait on it. <laughs> yeah, so um, we had multiple uh, uh, events at D Disney. Uh, we had uh, multiple events with uh, Tom Joyner and the Tom Joyner Morning Show and his family out in the cruises. Uh, we've had the camps. Yeah, you're right. I I'm being very, very conservative. And I thank you for the kind of the recap because you're no, bringing it all this, back. This, this is important stuff. So. You know, you had the Disney classics, and the Disney classics, yep. if people don't remember, is that teens will come across the country, enjoy a weekend at the Walt Disney, and, and experience the park, and then compete, and it, it was it was like a weekend of adventure for them. And that was, that was like, the, yeah, that, that, exactly, that was the first of its kind, that was the very first of its kind. Um, and I believe the only right now, because that was, it is. that didn't happen again, huh? It didn't happen again, it so, did not happen again. So someone know, tried to someone tried to duplicate it, and then after that it didn't happen. <laughs> well, so. you know, for some of you that know, so NSA started. They started the ball running, and they were at their peak. Can you explain to them a little bit of what happened that shifted NSA from being the peak uh, to now? Let, let's be honest. You're like rebuilding. You're on a full rebuilding mode and trying to um, get your structure back and, and try to figure yourselves out you, um, to where you were and, and, and maybe reinvent yourself. So. You know, what happened? What what led, what was the pivotal moment that there was like a, a shakeup and, and, and what was it? What was it so that the viewers, instead of there's any speculation out there, they can hear it directly from you, from NSA. Okay, well, there really wasn't one, one a single pivotal moment. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it was unfolding as we went along. There were uh, leagues that we had built across the country that wanted to go independently. The second piece that happened uh, was a shifting in funding. When we we used to do uh, shows and we used to, they used to bring us in and, and, and a lot of step teams as quiet as it's kept. And even now, especially now, uh, school districts would fund all of the shows and do everything for the step teams. And we're a nonprofit, so we're a 501 so we didn't, yeah. it wasn't about the money for us. But when that started to come apart, when districts were saying, well, we really don't have the money for this or that or a third, mm -hmm. 
we started to move into a different direction. We said, okay, well, what can we do? And we still have great alliances, no pun intended, with many of the, the, the leagues that we were with. But we needed to make a shift and, as you said, reinvent and figure out mm-hmm. what's, na- what's needed, what's new, what's next. Yeah. Um, and then as um, – I wouldn't say it devolved, but uh, it was more of an evolution into, okay, how do we now capture this new – uh, this new wave or this new method of doing things. There was nothing, no one walked out mad, nobody walked away, nobody, you know, because I've heard all the speculations. That, well, let's you just know, talk th- about it now. NSA, we're here right now live with the National Step Association, Stepping Association, which I is the representative part mm-hmm. of the world of Step Alliance that helps us build everything, right? This convention and this movement. Um, a lot of NSA, for people who don't know, we're all volunteer based, right? No one was getting yes. paid full time. So, you know, I think, I, I don't, you can mark me if I'm wrong, sometimes the point of evolution is as leadership changes, party changes, we get older, you mm-hmm. know, that kind of just, na- it's a natural evolution when mm-hmm. you're volunteering because there's certain parties that have to take first place over other things. And um, that sometimes can cause change in leadership ch- and mm-hmm. um, knowledge. And when you don't have that knowledge, it, it really causes a disruption to your, to, because you can't pass it down, you know? So may That's that, right. those been some of the issues that were probably going around? Absolutely. Um, that was actually one of them. Uh, the founder um, of National Stepping Up Association, uh, Keith, he was, oh my God, he, he, this was his brainchild, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Keith Belton. And he put together this entire thing from top to bottom. The legal structure, the stepping structure, the score, everything, you name it, with the help of, you know, many other people that came on absolutely, board, absolutely. Uh, including people like Warren Eisenhower and there's a few others. Um, as you just said, after a while, <laughs> I know even, even myself, just as a regular coach, you get older. Yeah. Um, when I first uh, came on board with NSA, I didn't even have children. <laughs> I, well, actually, no, that's not true. I, my youngest ones were probably just born. They're in middle school now. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's uh, the knowledge transfer didn't mm-hmm. happen the way it should have um, or could have. Keith is still there to this day with whatever we need. Um, but when you have a solid structure and then everybody wants to kind of crawl to the top, you know, and say, I'm going to be the next leader, uh, that becomes a challenge. So rather than have a chaotic, what we didn't, what we never stood for was chaos. Mm-hmm. So rather than have a bunch of chaotic uh, events or chaotic management style, we kind of pulled back and said, you know what, let's reinvent what we're doing so this does not look bad, so that it's not cheap, so that it's not... Um, we didn't want to hear the complaints that we heard so from so back. many other people. So NSA yes. pulled back a little bit. They started removing. Mm-hmm. Now, the question is, does the National Association still have their leagues? Um, and if they do or do not, if they do, are those leagues working independently or they're being controlled somewhat by, by their national umbrella? Uh, they are, okay, for the, for the most part, um, I can speak for 90% of our leagues. They are still intact. Some of them just split some of them fact fragmented on their own yeah um but for the most part they still absolutely we are still the governing body so when they come and they're doing their statewide shows when they're doing their regionals all across the country they ask us to do the judging we come in as the governing body because of the way we're still structured with mm-hmm. everything from the grievance process we are definitely still that and we so are the ones to that, say that mm-hmm. NSA is very much still alive. Oh, absolutely. So, everybody, so you know, there was a t- um, about a year or two years ago, there was, a, I think about a year ago, you guys were going to have your nationals and it, it didn't work out. Um, right. It didn't work out. But, you know, you guys are still very much present, still in the uh, present in the lives. You're just right now uh, doing the rebuilding and mm-hmm. you're still working behind closed doors. Um, one of the questions that Yaya has, which is a member who's competing, Yaya, love it. <laughs> hey, I guess check it in. Because Yaya, this counts as one of your points. You have to do four IGs. This counts. Uh, when did you first fall in love with Steph, Mr. Devin? Oh, that's an easy one. Um, the movie... Uh, well, actually, yeah, it was school days. It was... Uh, I was in high school. It was early high school for me. Spike Lee's school days. We saw it. It was uh, it was just fantastic. Like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> and where I grew up um, in New Rochelle, New York, they, there were no step teams there. So all I, all I wanted to do was see what was what. 
uh, once I saw that, I moved on, and then I went with, uh, you know, started doing the college tours and stuff, and went down and went to a lot of the HBCUs, and I was, I was like, okay, yes, this, this is what we want. That was actually my moment where I said, all right. Well, Dabe, well, we, we know about the work that NSA is doing. You guys are still very, if someone wanted, so now um, NSA, mm -hmm. what is their, like, is NSA going to continue? Are they going to do the regionals again next year? And, and uh, that's happening in planning, um, you know? And yes. also, you know, where can people get more information about the National Stepping Association? If they wanted to reach out to you and say, you know, we want to create a league and, and we want you to help us, how how do they go about doing that? Absolutely. Well, I'm really glad you mentioned that. Um, NSAstep.org is, that's the first place. Um, they can reach out to me. We're on IG is NSA Step and NSA Step Northeast. If you are east of Tennessee, all the way down to Florida, you would go with NSA Northeast. Same organization, just we're, we're kind of splitting the regions so we can focus more and mm -hmm. travel more and have more resources. Um, if you want to become involved, and I really suggest, you know, I really suggest you do, not only because of us, but we're also part of the alliance here. So yeah. the, the footprint is, is really large. Um, and that also includes, particularly if you have a startup team, if you've got a team that you're just birthing and you want to get in and you're not quite sure, where do I go? What do I do? How do I do it? NSA, you, you, you get to us. Again, online, we're very responsive. So if you're watching Facebook. us right now, Dabe is with us from the National Stepping Association. Um, mm -hmm. The National Association, the Stepping Association was one of the first organizations that really set out to build a, a groundwork of what the judging criteria were to help provide a standardized judging like the NCAA has theirs. Um, and right now, we're just talking about there was a transition movement that, that happened. Um, NSA is not at the peak that it used to be yet. Let's be clear yet, but they have been rebuilding for several years, restructuring and, and the a mentorship that he mentioned that's happening for younger teams, especially those that want to rebuild their regions, is still there and still present. If you want more information, you can go to NSA.org um, mm -hmm. and learn more about starting the leagues and, and getting present. But Dabe, I want to know, how do you feel now as an Alliance member, okay? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about being part of a movement that it's, you know, international, like when we first started this movement, <laughs> parting up, it was just like, mm -hmm. let's, you know, create a convention where we can celebrate and embrace stepping around the world. Well, just here in the world, in the United States, and now it's international. Like, how do you, how do you grasp that concept that you're part of a movement that I believe, like, probably surpassed what you even thought, what we were, what we were going to start? That, that's the key. That's the key. Um, when we first were getting into partnership and it was just going to be face-to-face -face live events and things of that nature, you know, that's in our wheelhouse. We were like, yeah, okay, yeah, we're going to do this because great partners, you know, we all kind of knew each other and that was going to be fine. As this grew, I started to realize, oh, my God, do you see this? Um, I... Wow, words fail me, and I talk a lot, and I can't, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, I, um, it's a feeling of, one, exposure, it's, and particularly for the NSA, mm -hmm. one of our main things is getting exposure to the different styles of step mm -hmm. and of dance, uh, so that even, again, with judging and with events and things like that, people are exposed to not everybody's steps like they do in New York, not everybody's steps like they do in Georgia or Texas or what have you. Being part of this has just gone to show everything that we wanted to, but everything that we were trying to, 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 to teach. However, we're learning at rocket speed too because we're seeing uh, people and, and the teams that are coming on from all over the world. I never, ever thought that. Well, Dabe, let me ask you a question. You know, for those critics, you're part of a fraternity, right? Um, mm. You're part of Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity, 1906, yep. <laughs> just had to do that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I love a five. Um, but for those who are who criticize and say, because you know, it's it. There's many of those that have not been that are not on board. You know, around the world, it's being celebrated, but there's are still those who are very iffy about you know spreading the the stepping culture. And I know one of the things that we discuss as alliance is that. Stepping is a people thing. It's, it's a thing that should be celebrated because we're celebrating people and, and the culture. Like, what would you say to those that feel like, why are we making it mainstream? Let's keep it to ourselves. Like, what would be your, your answer to those in addressing that? 
Step is for the world, okay? Point blank. Simple, full stop. There is no, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. There is no, um, if an if your art form, if your discipline, is that good, if it if it is in fact that impactful, then you must be impacting the world. How crazy would it be to keep it in your pocket? No. No, we have nothing to worry about when it comes to that. Because first of all, if you are doing it to the level that you should be doing it, then imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. But even at that, you want this to be worldwide. This is a cultural art form that has, by the way, have been adapted to different cultures. I mean, one of the things that we saw with the Sprite Step Off, which we were also part of, the, the Sprite mm -hmm. Step Off in New York City, that was one of those really, that was one of those moments where people just said, oh, you know, because it was, it, it was, uh, it, it was a, it was uh, a Hispanic just before team. Before you say anything, any team mm -hmm. that just logged on, you will get credit, uh, part of the requirements of getting the 20 points. Um, you just have to say hi, that you're on, so that it accounts. You have to do four IGs this week and or five workshops on demand. So I see some of your teams. You just have to say hi. You just can't just pop in, and we'll count it in. I'm sorry, Dabego. No, no, no. No, no. Um, and I'll never forget that moment. That was a moment where I realized what you're talking about, where people were like, Wait a minute, how can that be? It wasn't a, it, it, it was a collegiate comp competition for those who don't know. Sprite sponsored a step competition in New York City, which we were in charge of doing the judging for. Well, there was, uh, and I don't remember the, uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember the name of the team or which it was one a they were part sport. of. It was an all white sport. Yes, yes. And I got to tell you, again, level playing field. Again, meeting all the points. Again, with everything, with precision and everything else, they won. It was really that simple based on the math didn't lie. You would not believe. <laughs> oh, my God. You there, know, was that a, was, there was the, controversy there. There was controversy. It actually hit the mainstream media. Oh, my God. It, it, was, it was in the news. It was here. And people lost their minds. And that was when, instead of us saying, well, we didn't come up with any excuses. We said, no, let's go to the videotape. Let's take a look. And you tell me that they did not execute everything perfectly based on the standards. Again, <clears throat> pardon me, that's one of those things where, no, this is for the world. This is literally for the world. And there is a line. I mean, don't get me wrong. There was a line of cultural, between cultural appropriation mm -hmm. and, you know, mocking. And then appropriate homage or learning and, and, and developing. But as you've seen with what we've been doing, there are teams across the globe mm -hmm. that have different styles, but it's based in what we do with STEP. And that's, that's huge. And uh, just for those mm -hmm. who are just logged in, if you're a team competing at World Bank <coughs> and you want to get credit for this IG, you just have to write your name and say hi so we can give you the credit. We are live right now with Dabe James from the National Stepping Association. And he is outside because it is COVID-19 and he wants to get the weather out because it's Memorial Day weekend. Hello! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know it. You know it. Um, Dabe, one of the things, and I just want to uh, mention something. One of the things that we noticed... Um, when we were having these conversations and these teams were joining in, that these teams, it wasn't a question of they were stepping. It was like, it was part of my culture. Some of mm -hmm. these teams were offended and saying, it's my culture. Like, what do you mean I'm doing your thing? And then mm -hmm. they referenced it into different names. They were like, oh, it's body percussion is, it, it's, you know, it's stepping. So um, how did you feel when you started realizing when these teams were coming in and when we've had these conversations, like, oh my God, stepping is really not what we think. I mean, it's hard to be... Uh, 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 it's hard for teams to compete and want to mm -hmm. stay. It's easy for teams to compete and do the same thing over and over again, right? And be a right. big fish in a small market. Right, How, right. What would you say to those teams that came on board with World of Step International, competing international, and decided to come out of their circle and say, I want to be a little fish in a big market because that's the only way I'm going to grow. What do you say to those teams? I say watch and learn and take in everything that you're seeing because everything that you're seeing is going to add to your creativity. And again, I, I'll say it again, just like you just said a second ago. 
yes, you can say this is my culture, but that doesn't mean that you own a particular style of anything. Yes. You know, um, period. Hashtag okay. Period. <laughs> like real talk. I mean, yes. if I if I went and said, well. Uh, you, one of the biggest pushbacks I get is Irish step dancing. Mm-hmm. And I, people always say, oh, you're doing the step dancing or what have you. Listen, it's another adaptation. And then you get into the, the whole history of it and this or that, and which came first. Or ch- no, the teams, those teams out there, watch. I want y'all to get online. I hope you've watched every video from around the world so that you can take it, you know, judge it from a different style. Don't well, judge it based on where you are. Deb, uh, we are again. If you guys are just checking in, we're with Dabe James from the National Stepping Association, and Dabe, we have next up Ed from the Players Club that we're going to be talking to. Um, mm-hmm. you were the first That's one. my boy. <laughs> and um, the World of Step Alliance is international. Next year, we're hitting. We're going to be doing regionals in, in Peru. We're working yep. on regionals in West Africa. We're still going to have our regionals in the United States. Um, what would you like to tell? everyone that's watching us right now and participating in the convention, everyone that's celebrating, and those who are not, you know, joining into this bandwagon, the bus is still moving, what message do you have for them before we have to go? Because we have three minutes, but oh. I want you to send a message on behalf of NSA. What is your voice and message you want to tell them? Uh, my voice would say, number one, congratulations just for being in it, just for showing up, showing out, and showing what you can do. That is, that's number one. Show your art, show your skills. Mm-hmm. Number two, keep going. Keep going. Keep building your teams. Keep doing what you need to do because guess what? This is virtual now, but it's going to be a hybrid next year, and we're going to be doing all this kind of stuff. Get ready. You've seen what's out there? Don't sleep. Learn the lessons. Watch because – Next the world year, is watching. Are, that's it. So bring your best. And in order to be the best, you got to work like you have never hit your peak yet. So if you're in that small market, now you're looking at what else is out there. Take that lesson. Say, okay, you know what? We got a lot more work to do. And what do you say to those who still haven't jumped on board? Those who who like, nah, I'm staying in my lane. What would you say to them? Well, I hope it's the slow lane. So <laughs> get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> hello hello somebody i mean so yeah i mean if you're not on board by now nah bro no you, you no Mm-mm. Mm-mm. you're walking you're basically. walking yeah we're ready on the bike we're there you ready go on the bike, and we already put the motor on the bike okay we can't afford the motor that's what we're doing <laughs> well Dave, i want to i just want to thank you and thank you for being part of the movement um no, My name is Rumble from Artist Stepping. We are live here with the National Stepping Association, which is one of the first umbrella organizations to standardize stepping on a mainstream and really making it into a sport so that our kids are afforded the same opportunity that the dance world has um, in scholarships. So because mm-hmm. of your dedication and, and, and your commitment, I want to commend you uh, for Thank being you. part of the alliance and the movement, um, for not only coming on a board, but also being a mentor. And, um, and never when I would come up to you and ask you these questions, you were like, why not? Let's just do it. Yeah. Like, you never looked at me for color, skin. You're like, you know what? You love it. I love it. Let's do this. So That's it. And you know, I... And I thank you and I congratulate you for what you you know what you've been able to accomplish with this. Oh, well, we are on board. Oh no, we're all locked at the hip here. This alliance is strong, y'all. Y'all better, better thank recognize. You. I thank you. Okay, bye, Dabe. See you later, guys. Hey guys, we're just closing out right now our interview with Dabe James for the National Stepping Association. Again, they were the first organization, umbrella organization, to standardize the rules and regulations of stepping. In about one minute, I'll be back on live with our second person for um, making of the world a step, that will be with the Players Club, no other than the GOAT, King Leo. And then myself will be interviewed by Celebrate You. And lastly, hello, which the night that everybody wants the closing will be with our creative director of World of Step, Mr. Chuck Maldonado himself, who was a choreographer of Stomp the Art and many other movies. So come back. I'm going to hang up so I can switch over the video. All right, bye, guys.